Come on, bro. Strobe light. We got a raven here. What's up, my immune friends? This is kj 4 and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, guys, after I took out that second banding camp, I um, came home. I've got good old Kate here. She's kind of stuck in the wall here, and there's no change with any of her stats. Okay, she isn't drinking, she isn't eating, none of her stats are moving, you know, fair enough. We've also got um, uh, my buddy here, Rachel. Where's she going? She's got an attitude, look at her, she just turns her back on me. She's like, whatever, you don't own me, you don't tell me what to do, I'm Rachel, punk. Alright, so, <laughs> one of the things you guys wanted me to try out, um, you told me in the comments you wanted me to try out, is to give one of these uh, girls an M4 with one round in it, to see if she'll use it. So I think that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get her attention. What's going on? Status. By the way, she came with no health either. And her stats aren't moving. So I'm going to give her some stuff. But I don't really think this is going to do anything. I don't think she's going to take these pills. I don't think she's going to eat. Honestly, I don't think she's going to need to eat. She, she came with full thirst, full hunger. And she hasn't needed any of that uh, replaced um, the entire time she's been here. But I am going to give her all that stuff. Let's uh, let's go ahead and give her some... F I'm not even going to give her some food. I mean, look at look at her, man. She's been here for a whole day. And um, check out her, her thirst and hunger. Come on. Come on. Show me your thirst and hunger. There you go. So I don't think I need to, I don't think I need to give these ladies uh, food and drink. I think they're health. They're immune. I don't think they can get hurt. Uh, I think it's bugged. I think it's an early access game and they're not fully implemented. And that is just fine. Let's come on over here and check out our moonshine thingy, Bob. And we've got some booze. That is wonderful. I want to get this thing running some more. Uh, I'm going to turn all that sugar into booze because I need bandages. So let's go ahead and make some bandages right now. It takes two booze for one bandage? That How many does it give? It better give like two bandages. Oh, wow. That's that's awful. Who's going to use two full bottles of booze on a bandage? <laughs> that's insane. That's insane. Oh, that needs to be lowered. Anyway... Uh <laughs> All right, so what else do we want to talk about? Oh, the chicken coop. Okay, guys, I did some work off camera, and I got the chicken in the chicken coop the way he's supposed to be. It took some work. I actually made another chicken coop because I thought the chicken coop was in a bad spot. That's why it wasn't working. And then I found out the new chicken coop wasn't working, and then I realized that it, the chicken coop is in a fine spot. It's just, uh, you know, you just got to kind of mess around with it a little bit to get it to work. It's a little bit finicky. So what we're going to do is we're going to take old Bobby here in the uh, chicken coop and we're going to... Well, you see there's like a little uh, hand icon on the ground? You basically want to throw him down there. Now, sometimes I threw him down there and he walked out. Sometimes... Actually, he walked out about three times. But on the last time, he started pecking at the ground. Okay, so what's he doing now? So now he's doing what he did last time. It looks like he's having trouble getting over there. Okay, so you see how he's pecking at the ground like that? I think that's, that's to mimic him getting food. And after he pecked at the ground for a few minutes, he went into one of those uh, little cabinets. So let's see if he does it this time. Come on, buddy. Get that food. Get in that cabinet. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if... By the way, standing here seemed to help. That's why I'm, I'm not leaving. Uh, I wonder if, like, having the cabinet too close to the... Uh, having the chicken coop too close to the wall is causing an issue. I don't know. Uh, and I tried to uh, move the chicken coop. Can't move it. I tried to destroy it. You can't destroy it. All right, so I think I'm going to put him... I think I'm going to throw him down again because I think he's in a bad spot. He's in the same spot he was in last time when it didn't work. So I'm wondering if this is a problem. All right, guys, I've wasted way too much time on this chicken. I actually got it. Before I started recording, I put him in here a couple times, and the last time I put him in here, he jumped in the little cubby hole. So I reloaded the game because I wanted to do it for you guys. And, of course, he's not doing it. So I'm thinking maybe he'll do it at night. It wasn't night when I did it. Or maybe he just needs to eat enough. I don't know. But I'm going to block him in with the water purifier so he doesn't get out because he actually walked out last time, which was kind of annoying. Okay, so over here I do have a bunch of ingots. There we go. And we're going to use these and we're going to make uh, two gears. Okay. Can we assign a worker to this? Okay. So when I assign a worker, then what? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, yeah, why don't you do it, Rachel? Okay. So is she going to come out and do this or... Okay, cool. Because I set up I set up some things in here to craft and nobody did it. Um, matches, right? I guess I have to assign somebody. Maybe I didn't do it right. Or maybe Kate's stuck. I don't know. We'll see if we can get Kate to do some matches. Yeah, I think Kate's stuck. 
So that's a bit of a bummer. I don't know how to unstick her. Um, if anybody knows how to get Kate unstuck, please let me know. Um, okay, so she must made the gears. They didn't take any time. I just wanted to see if she would do it. That is awesome. All right, let's check on the chicken. I, I don't know what's going on with this freaking chicken, man. Driving me up a wall with this freaking chicken. Okay, so the reason I wanted to make gears is because we are going to make... We're going to make a saw bench. Now, where do I want to make the saw bench? You know what? Before I make the saw bench, um, I've heard everybody is catching stuff with these traps except for me. So I'm going to actually pick this trap up and kind of put it out here. Maybe it was in a bad spot. I'm not really sure. Um, because I'm here and people are catching like tons of stuff with this, with these things. So I'm going to put it out here. Oops. No, 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 no. Put it down. No, I don't want to sleep. Six. 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 Okay. I'm not, oh, there it is. Okay. Six. Okay. F. Okay. So that should be good. It's got that in there. It should be nice and set up. I don't know unless I'm doing something wrong, but maybe we're just in a bad spot. That's the only thing I can think of. All right, since Kate doesn't want to make these matches, I'm going to have Rachel do it. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about Kate. If you guys know of any way I can get her unstuck from up there, let me know. I might try and blast her with a shotgun before I um, save a game, and uh, we'll see if we can get her unstuck that way. All right, Rachel. There you go, Rachel. Now, is she going to do that? Yep, Rachel's a good worker. You are a good worker, Rachel. Not like that lazy Kate. She's a lazy Kate. Okay, so where do we want to put the saw bench? I kind of want my work area to be over here. First of all, let's see how big the saw bench is. Now, the reason I want to make the saw bench is because in a couple of videos, we're going to start... Actually, we're probably going to start building walls today. I don't think we're going to get a lot done, though, because they're very, very expensive. All right, so we need some components and wood planks. They are extremely expensive. Oh, look at her go, man. Man, she's a badass. Kate, you done been replaced. She's like, screw you, man. You never even fed me anyway. Shut up, Kate. You got freaking food in your... Inventory, eat something. Freaking Kate talking back to me. Actually, she didn't really say anything, but in my mind, she did. Okay. So, do I want to put this outside, actually? Maybe I want to put this inside. You know, I do want to put some more stuff inside. So, let's put this inside. Uh, yeah, this will yeah, be fine right here. Now, electricity is extremely expensive, but if I'm going to need boards, this should give me more boards per craft. Then um, I would get otherwise. Uh, I don't know how many more, but we got to see. Because the walls are definitely going to take boards. They're going to take a lot of logs and a lot of boards. Okay. So we get six there. Yeah, and the other way we get four. So you get 50% more boards. That That's worth it. That is worth it. Should I break out these tables? I want these tables gone, but the problem is they keep respawning. Well, it's free wood, right? If nothing else, it's free wood. I saw someone else in here and their tables were gone. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it. Maybe I should just break them out every time I see them and just accept the free wood. Might be a good idea. All right. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have them uh, chop up some, uh, cut up some, some logs. First of all, let's take a look at the what the walls need really quickly. I'm going to take this stuff, actually. And I'm going to turn this into... I think I could turn this into... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, boy, we're hungry. We are hungry. All right, let's grab some food. Oh, missed. Nope, no missed. But we saw some mist there. By the way, um, one thing I did want to tell you guys about is that um, someone told me in the comments that food in the refrigerator spoils at twice the rate if it doesn't have electricity. So if you're not going to power up your fridge, don't keep food in there. And from what I can tell, yeah, they're right on. 12.9. Yeah. Also, you guys told me I can dry out meat without salt. If that's the case, that would be awesome. I will probably kill a bear today. All right, guys. We're going to hunt the bear in the morning because I want as much time to skin the bear as I can. Yeah, that chicken's not doing anything. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go check the... Um, Let's go check the, the saw blade thingy. Saw blade? Yeah, saw machine. And um, can we actually give people stuff, like, uh, give people work to do here? I'm not really sure, but um, I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Another thing you guys told me about was uh, the lake house uh, over here. There's a uh, generator over there I can harvest. So we're going to come on over here and check out that generator. See if there really is one over here. First thing tomorrow, we're definitely going to kill a bear. I want to see if I can really uh, dry that meat. And also, you guys said I could put the um, the bear hide on the on the drying rack. So, oh, that's right. There's a zombie in here. Got 
Come on. Punk ass. You freaking wounded my leg. Should I just let it self heal? I think I am. I think I'm gonna let it self heal. I just gotta be careful with my sprinting. Oh, bandage. Game giveth and game taketh away. No, game taketh away and game giveth. I don't know, something like that. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing. I'm pretty sure we looted all this. I think that stuff that respawned on the ground was, you know, the, the day 10 respawning loot thing. But just in case, we will check. I should probably bring these back to base at some point. Alright, so you guys said there's a generator in here? Is it inside or outside? Probably outside. I don't see it. Okay, I'm not seeing a, a generator. I see a saw bench. But I don't see a generator. Can I do anything with the saw bench? Nope. Is this the right lake house or is it the other one? I guess we can go take a look at the other one. There's no reason not to. Let me just look all the way around. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the place he was talking about. Am I just missing it, guys? Oh, boy. Look at my leg. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful with that sprinting. Alright, guys. I just went for a swim over to this lake house building maybe this is the one they meant or maybe i just missed it all right so oh we can't take that apart huh okay let's see what we got here just a bunch of wood out here oh there's the generator okay so this is the one you meant all right cool cool i just saw what he said he's like generator and i got all excited i just wrote it down i didn't i wasn't clear on which one he meant now, let's see if anything else respawned in here. I never broke into this. It doesn't sound right. Let's go ahead and break into this. All right. There we go. Ooh, four freaking ingots. That's nice. Some rifle ammo, some shells. Nice candy bar. Damn, that's nice. There's a few places I can't, I showed up before I had the uh, crowbar that, you know... Honestly, I'm not going to remember where they are, but if I stumble upon them again, I will definitely grab them. Alright, that's cool. Alright, let's go get that generator. I think he said you get a gear every time you take it apart and it respawns whenever you restart the world. So, I can dig it. By the way, guys, when you exert yourself, even if you're um, not using your legs for it... Um, yeah, it still it still messes with your uh, your wounds... I guess it makes sense, though, because even though you're not, like, you know, running or kicking something or doing anything with your legs, when you're swinging an axe, you're still using your legs. Uh, that was incredible. That, that gave me a lot of stuff. Damn, that was really good. That was a very fruitful trip. Now, should we check out that building right there? Because I was told that those little shacks with, like, the corrugated steel around them, the corrugated steel or whatever it is, uh, can be taken down for more scrap. So the fact is I need scrap. And I need it more than anything else. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put... I'm going to check that chicken during the night. Because I really don't understand why he's not in the little chicken coop thing. I'm thinking that... Um, that I heard something. Um, I'm thinking that he only goes in there at night. So I'm going to check. And um, I really want to know. I want to know what's going on with him. Um, it's not... It, I don't think it's the position of the chicken coop. Because, uh, like I said, I got him in there before. Uh, in between videos. No, guys, really, I did. I know you don't believe me, but I did. Honest. Okay, I left this out. Anything respawn in here? Nope. All right, we can take this apart. Yes, we can. I'm not going to do that now because I'm actually hurting quite a bit. But um, that's something I'm going to come back and do later. As a matter of fact, we're here. Why don't we just take this back home? And we got to worry about bears. And our sprinting leg. See, the problem is if a bear spots us at this point, we pretty much have to stand and fight um, because we won't be able to outrun them. Well, I mean, we might be able to. We could probably out-sprint them before our leg gets really damaged. Like, before we reopen our wounds. Yeah, you know what? If I see a bear, I'm just going to drop this... I'm going to drop this thing and run. <laughs> I got no stamina, so I guess that's uh, not my choice anymore. Now if I see a bear, I'm really screwed. Alright guys, it's the morning. Let's go check the chicken. Let's check the traps. And then I think we are going to start building the wall. I'm going to start, I'm going to build the main gate right in front. I think that would be pretty cool. 
Um, you know what? I don't even need to build anything on the outside. What I could do is I could have the, the main gate in front, have the walls come around behind here, and then just connect up with the garage, probably about right here, right? Then I put one wall right here to cover up these areas. And then I have the wall come from here and all the way around. By the way, I've been doing some uh, work here. <laughs> I have the wall come all the way around, maybe in front of the car. I'm not really sure. I'm going to kind of... The walls are super expensive. It takes 12 of these logs just for one wall. Now, the walls are pretty big, but damn, man. 12 logs. Oh, boy. That's going to be um, it's gonna be quite a feat. All right. So let's take a look at the trap. The trap is... No, man. My traps are not working. I don't know... I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, item uses bait will no longer use after trap activate. Place bait to activate trap. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Uh, let me know in the comments. If, if I am doing something wrong, I don't know what the heck it is. All right. So let's put this gate down. Oh, let's check on the chicken too. Yep. Chicken ain't doing nothing. Eh. I'll mess out with the chicken off camera. Okay. So where do we want to put this wall? I'm thinking... Uh, should it go around the car? Yeah, it should probably go around the car. Um, actually, I'd kind of like it to go in front of the car if I can. Put it on an angle and then connect up right here. Ooh, that would be even better. I could probably just connect up right in the front. Don't even have to do it in the back. I could Maybe I could have a wall going from here over to here around this. Over here, you can get rid of stumps. I'm not sure if that gets rid of the trees for good, but we're going to try. Um, over here, come this way, connect here, and the front is, you know, our own. Um, maybe, yeah, yeah. Or I could just have it go all the way around. I'm not really sure. Let's just make the gate for now. Let's just make the gate for now. Okay. So, let's take a look at the gate. Man, look at this. 12 logs and 8, and eight um, planks. All right, so we need two logs for the gate. There's the gate. The hell with it. We're making our decision. We're sticking with it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, boy. I, uh, I've i got my work cut out for me. All right, there we go. Now, as far as I know, uh, the bandits can just walk right in your gate, so it doesn't really matter anyway. But, you know, it's it's for fun. It's for fun. All right, so we're going to need 12 of these. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 11, 12. Basically all of them for one piece of the wall. Alright, so let's see how these walls connect. That's what I'm kind of curious about. Um, wooden wall A. You know what? Before we do anything, let's save in case we build something we don't like. And then we can just reload. Okay. So let's take a look at these walls. Um, wooden wall A, no ladder. Okay, so they all have walkways behind them. Well, what's the difference between A and B? Well, it looks like A has the little uh, thing here you can shoot through, and B doesn't. And they both cost the same. I don't, I don't really know which one I like more. I kind of like this one. Why would you not want the... Uh... Oh, they don't snap into place either. Oh, that's... I don't like that they don't snap into place. <laughs> but I think we'll be able to make it work. Okay. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put one of these down. Do I have everything I need? No, we need 20 nails. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I've actually got a decent amount of nails. Um, if I could find them, they're down here, aren't they? There we go. Let's just take them all. All right, let's go ahead and build a wall. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. With ladder. Do I want the ladders right next to the doors? I think you do, right? Because not the well, you don't really want ladders right next to the doors because if they break in, then the ladders right there and they can climb up and get you. But I think it makes sense for ladders to be right next to the doors. I don't know. I'm going to offset the ladders a couple spots. Okay. So I guess this just goes right here. Right? Is that it? Should I angle it a little bit? No, I think that's pretty good. Let me angle it a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That looks nice. Okay. Let's do this. Building up some walls, people. I need to get uh, Kate out here to help. Come on, Kate. Oh, God, the mist. 
Protect me! You can't be hurt. You stay out here. No, guys. Literally, they can't be hurt. So, we're going to leave them out here. We're also going to see if any of these zombies can get in through the door. Through the windows. Hey! Hey! Over here! Come on. See if you can get in. Come on, bro. Strobe light! We got a raven here. Come on, man. Come at me. Okay, he, he, all right, he's going. Oh, look at that. He can't get in. He doesn't even see the thing there. He can't he can't destroy it. He can't do anything. I don't want to repair. Come on, let's see if we can time this. Damn it. Ah. Oh, maybe I can't melee him through it. Oh, there we go. Hold on. We'll time this right. I think we... Did we get him that time? Oh, I got him that time. We'll get him. If I could just time it. Pretty sure I'm getting him. All right, hold on. One, two, three. Uh, hello? Maybe she needs more bullets in the gun. I'm not sure. She, <laughs> she don't give a f f. She's like no f's given. Oh, that was nice. Okay, so that guy's dead. So these things uh, in the windows work like a charm. Love it. Okay, so we got him over there. All right. Well, I don't. I don't know. Maybe maybe they don't work with the M4, or maybe you have to give them a full M4 of ammo. I'm not giving them 30 rounds of ammo. Now, they don't use any of the ammo. Maybe she needs one in her inventory. Because Kate was shooting at him when she had one one piece of ammo in her inventory. Wait, guys. I'm going through a lot of axes. Um, it's going to be very important for me to get as much scrap as I can. So, that's pretty interesting. Uh, also, I thought we were going to get to the bear today. Uh, that's probably going to have to wait for a future episode. Um, it's not going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow I have a special... Um, no, next video I have a special uh, trip planned. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to a bear. We'll get to a bear again at some point. Um, I might even do it off camera, maybe. I mean, you've, seen, you've seen me kill a bear, although it's pretty exciting, I guess. So I should probably show it again. But, all right, let's go ahead and do a wall with no ladder. We still need more. Th these logs, man. It takes too much logs. Too much logs, bro. Can I not even carry enough? I don't think I can carry enough. I think I'm one short. Yep, one short. Okay, well, let's throw some bark on the ground. There we go. All right. Let's build a second part. Now, is this going to be angled at all? Yo, yeah, this is definitely going to be angled a little bit. Um, so let's go right here. Let's go here, and let's put a wall of it down. Um, is that a good angle? Mm, it's a pretty good angle. I like it. All right, so axe is in my way. Get out of here, Axe. You're in the way. Causing trouble. I think I'm also going to try and catch another chicken uh, before nighttime, possibly. Because I'd like to try another chicken in that chicken coop. Alright, how's that? Is that good? Nobody's going to get into there. I don't want people to see through there either. Might be able to shoot. Is that still angled? Yes, it is. Okay. And... <laughs> good. All right, there's two parts of the wall and the gate. Super expensive, super expensive. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna have to do some farming. All right, guys, we are gonna call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Look, guy, guys, I went and got Bobby too, and Bobby one is sitting up here, so maybe he'll lay some eggs. All right, I wish there was a door on this thing, by the way. All right, guys, that's the real end of the video, guys. I'll see you next time.